It's the final round of the 2017 Monroe Invitational. Everybody's out warming up before the round, and I'm sure there's some nerves out there. At the top of the leaderboard, we have Rhett Rasmussen at minus four and Tyler Fossey at minus three right behind them. But anything can happen today. Let's take it out to the action. Chris Peatfish, one of the many golfers playing in the Monroe from Georgia Tech, had a great day today and even a holdout on number seven from 120 yards to thrust him close to the lead. He ended with a two under 67 and finished tied for second at one under after 72 holes. Rhett Rasmussen had a rough start going bogey double on holes one and two, but started to come back with three birdies on six, nine, and 12. Unfortunately, he finished his round bogey bogey on 16 and 17 and finished one back from the lead. Joey Savoy, part of the Canadian contingent, had four birdies and two bogeys today and finished at a two under 67 to put him tied for second at minus one. The big hitter in the field, Chase Johnson, had a very stable round today with only one bogey and one birdie to keep him at an even par 69. Unfortunately, he finished one back tied for second, but had fun out there and came off 18 with a smile. New York native Derek Bard finished his nine at even par and was a couple shots from the lead. On the back nine, he was able to pull out the win with three birdies to shoot a two under 67 and he finished on top of the leaderboard at minus two. I'm here with Derek Bard, 2017 Monroe Invitational Champion. Derek, you had a great final round today. It was a grind out there. Um, winning score ends up at minus two. Might have been a bit of a surprise as you came down the stretch. Walk me through the round and how it went today. It, it, was, it was a surprise. Um, you know, I checked the weather waking up this morning and saw it wasn't going to be as windy as yesterday, so I figured you might have to make some birdies, but I kind of got the sense the first few holes with some of these pin locations it was going to be a, a long day where pars were good. Um, I kind of checked the leaderboard throughout the day and kind of saw some guys were falling back and I just tried to stay really patient with everything. I just, just play my game, stick to my game plan, not try to force any, anything and uh, luckily it fell my way. That's great. So I, I had a chance to be out there and watching quite a bit of your round and yeah. 15 you had a great look at birdie to get, get right up in the thick of yeah, things yeah. and uh, not making that one coming to the last three holes, are, those are tough birdies. Kind of, What was your mindset into that tee shot that you striped on 16? Yeah, um, just patience. I, I missed a short par putt on, uh, on 14, missed the birdie putt on 15, but I knew I was still right there. Uh, my dad came and kind of got my ear after 15 and said, just, just stay patient, just keep making good swings, uh, good things will come. And you know, I got a good number on 16 tee, and uh, that was probably one of the best swings of the week right there. Yeah. And this, this is your third Monroe. Uh, you've had two top fives yeah. otherwise, and finally get a victory is pretty nice for us. Um, I was, I've been following your career quite a bit. You've got a pretty good chance, I think, to make the Walker Cup this year. Yeah. Tell me what that might mean for you. It would mean the world. Uh, that's why I'm staying am uh, this summer is to be eligible for that team. And I realize right now I'm probably on the outside looking in. I mean, there's a lot of great players playing well right now, um, kind of higher up the list. Um, you know, I can't worry about that. All I can worry about is uh, keep doing my thing, keep, just keep focusing on getting better and improving um, and uh, see where I fall in, uh, in August. Great. Well, best of luck the rest of the summer. Yeah, 2017 Monroe Invitational Champion Derek Bard. The 2017 Monroe Invitational comes to a close with Derek Bard on top with a 72 round total of 274. Congratulations to him and all the other players who played in the event. You know, it was, it was a great week. One epic summer continues on to the Sunny Hannon Championship. See you all there.